What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny and today I'm going to be tackling a concept that we all go through with pretty much anything. Phases. And particularly with this channel, the whole entire compass of men's fashion. Like with anything, we all start somewhere and then we end up in a completely different place later down the road. So here are my phases of men's fashion that I think most of us are going through or will go through. Prepare to cringe because I'm cringing already. So the first phase that we all start with and with any new style is straight up ignorance. Not even thinking at all about clothes, you just grab and go without a care in the world. And honestly, this is a pretty cool phase. You don't even have to think about anything but it does have its drawbacks because you can end up with some pretty wacky outfits and that can hurt you professionally or socially. And that is why I don't really delete many of my Instagram posts because I just want you guys to see how I progress as a person as well as my sense of fashion as well. And man, look at this outfit. Ah, oh, sick outfit, dude. I'm wearing a shirt from Anchor Blue. I don't even know if you guys know what that store is. Some random pair of basketball shorts and most likely I was wearing some skate sneaker from DVS. Yeah, remember these big ass kicks back in the day? Yeah, those are my daily wear. So that is the first phase, literally just wearing anything. Hand me downs for your best friend. If it functioned, you wore it. Now the next phase for me was when YouTube was still very young, and this is where you're gonna come across the huge channels of today, the menswear industry. Now personally, this is just what I came across first, maybe came across streetwear, but at the time for me, menswear was everywhere, and nobody was really talking about streetwear. And back then, I didn't really care about watching any of these types of videos. But there is one main takeaway from watching any of these videos, and that was fitted clothes, fitted clothes, fitted clothes, and fitted clothes because the ladies liked it. And then you also hear you gotta dress your age and more mature. You guys know what I'm talking about. And honestly, there is nothing wrong with that. I get why Alpha M says that and all these other fashion channels say it as well. But when I came across those videos, I did not care about any of it. I didn't take any of the advice except for wear fitted clothes. Make sure they fit super tight on you so they can show off your gains, show off the aesthetic, you know, cop the V-necks, cop the Henleys. But even for me back then, graphic tees, had to be fitted. And then this mindset of fitted clothes stuck with me until the next phase. And so the next phase of fashion for me was streetwear, but not the right kind of streetwear. Any streetwear item I copped, it would have to be fitted on me. It had to show off my gains and trust me, bro, this ain't the move. Now I've always been into streetwear. I just didn't know the term back then. You know, back then I'd be skating my DVS shoes, and Obey shirts, skinny jeans. You know, this is back when Obey was hot. Kanye just interrupted Taylor Swift and was in his music prime and the world was gonna end in 2012. But fast forward years later after watching Richie Lee since the Fung Bros days, I got really into the sneaker and streetwear culture and I thought I was the shit. Like you know when someone first gets into fitness and that's really all they can talk about? Yeah, that was me with streetwear. And so in this phase, I went through a phase of like, Arrogance, I would say, cockiness. I thought I could put together any outfit. I thought I was a shit. I dressed better than everyone. Whew. And then I decided to start a channel. And boy, were my first videos horrible because I was kind of a mix of menswear and streetwear. I just could not let go of fitted clothes because it was engraved into me since day one. And honestly, I just ended up giving out the wrong information and just generic advice. The culture still grew on me a ton. And then I got sucked into this hype beast mentality of copying anything that is hot. But mind you, Fitted clothes was still ingrained in my head. And so this next phase is honestly the most cringe phase. And I really only got out of it earlier this year. I would straight up copy any hype look that was trending from 2016 to the top of 2019. Control C, Control V, copy pasted what everyone would wear and what was hot. Chelsea boots, flannels, and distressed zipper pants, I was on that. Pants tucked into your socks, I was on that and could not let that go. I would also straight up rip the standard menswear look of a leather jacket, black denim, and Chelsea boots. You know, the badass look. Because during this time, all I cared about was impressing girls and guys. And honestly, a lot of guys are like this. They're insecure, they need validation from guys and girls, and buying hyped brands or copying the badass look was a allegedly gonna help you with that, but really, you're just projecting your insecurities. So I kinda built a foundation on menswear and streetwear, but it was based off other people's outfits or the opinions of others. And let me just clarify, there's nothing wrong with getting inspiration from another person's outfit, it's the straight up copying and following these rules that doesn't really sit well with me. So this phase of fashion for me was around last year, and it's just straight up copying other people's outfits or dressing for validation. Now the next phase of men's fashion is the one I'm currently in, and it's basically like point number one. I just don't care. It's pretty much like I'm ignorant again. And that's probably why I can't dress. I'm just doing me. And that's really the beauty of the first phase. You don't care about dressing for other people. You're just doing you. You're expressing who you are. And that's really where I think most people are going to find their style. And it's at this point where I finally learned to let go of fitted clothes. See, I wear garments that I have a taste for instead of trying to hit these trends or dress to impress the ladies. Like I said earlier, all that does is just show how insecure you are. But yeah, fitted shirts, I'm cool with that. I can still wear it. Oversized shirts and crew necks, yeah, I'm with it. Skinny denim, that's cool. Baggy pants, 
cool with me because I already have the foundation of menswear and streetwear from years of keeping up with it. And this is gonna happen with you. You're gonna learn to form your own opinions about the culture, streetwear, menswear, how an outfit should look. This is really how you cultivate your own style instead of copying others, which is how it should be. So that's why I encourage wearing what suits your personality, what suits your lifestyle, and what suits your interests to curate a taste of your own. Do you work the corporate life? Well, then maybe business casual and dapper should be for you. Breaking Bad, your favorite TV show? Maybe you should pick up a Los Pollos Hermanos shirt. Maybe you're a photographer and camera bags and messenger bags are for you. Tailor it towards you and not for the opinions of others. And who knows how long I'll be in this phase. I know there's gonna be many more phases down the road. The overall message of this video is this is how you really find your own personal style. Wear what you want, not what social media wants. Because whether you're in menswear or streetwear, Fashion is subjective. I hope this video helps you out. This is really kind of how my style has evolved. And I've made a lot of mistakes on this YouTube channel, giving out boring advice, generic advice, but we all learn from our mistakes. So if you guys found this video helpful, leave this video a like for the YouTube algorithm. Please, please. Leave a comment down below if you guys can relate to this. Tell me what phase you're in. Subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTai. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out, bruh. Peace.